so before we get into the wrestler of the week for the week, um, if unless you were living under a rock or not paying uh, any attention to res- wrestling, like social media or anything like that, you knew that last night on AEW Dynamite, Tony Khan had his big announcement, and he uh, he announced at the start of the show that he has acquired the assets of Ring of Honor Wrestling Entertainment from the Sinclair Broadcasting Group, uh, including the promotions. This is part of the uh, the press release that came out, including the extensive video library dating back to 2002, brand assets, intellectual property, production equipment, and more. Uh, went on to say, known widely as the independent promotion that birthed some of wrestling's biggest stars of today, including AEW CM Punk, Brian Danielson, and highlighted dozens of members of the AEW roster, Ring of Honor's purchase signifies a new chapter in the future of professional wrestling as AEW's meteoric rise continues to draw the youngest skewing wrestling audience on television. Um so why don't we let why don't we start on your on, on our reaction to the announcement? We'll we'll then talk about kind of where we think it is going, where we'd like to see this go. Um, but does anybody want to kick us off? What 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 was your reaction? Yes, Big Mike. Uh, yeah, this was an all-in move to get the intellectual property for all-in. Very much so. They now own the rights to their they, first show. <laughs> yeah, uh, that was an all-in move to get all-in. Um, I also think that this is going to end up being some kind of Ring of Honor AEW network, kind of like the WWE network, where they put all the the stuff up little by little. I mean, obviously, I don't think they're going to overload it like right away and be like, wham! Here's 97,000 hours of content, but I do think that this is inevitably going to lead to a, a AEW media group kind of network. Uh, and then uh, I'll, I'll talk about where I think we're going with Ring of Honor once, uh, once we hear from you guys. But yeah, I definitely think that this was a, the minute Tony knew that he could get all, all in, um, he had to find a way to go get it and getting the rest of it i think it's just a, a thumbs up for his acquisitional <laughs> purposes for sure uh time out i forgot to mention this uh tomorrow night i think it's tomorrow night let me pull up the actual uh because i meant to announce this before we dove into everything else um march 5th that'd be saturday night uh ccw classic championship wrestling presents all falls down uh at the marysville lions club in marysville pa uh, first and second row, $15, general admission, $10, doors at four, bell time is at five, uh, for tickets, you can, uh, visit them on social media and, uh, you can call 717-379-4599 or 717-585-0355. Uh, but, uh, check out Classic Championship Wrestling on Twitter or Facebook. Uh, and it'll give you the details there. Two matches uh, that we know of. Uh, CCW National Heavyweight Champion Adrian Bliss defending against Mike City. And traditional champion Mr. Ping defending against General Kiesel. Uh, more great matches. So if you want to get out and uh, and support some independent wrestling this week, and you can do so in Marysville, Pennsylvania. Ryan. Have you been to Marysville this time of year? I was going to ask how it was this time of year. I've heard just beautiful. Just beautiful. I'll answer for Marysville, Ryan. Right on the outside of uh, of Harrisburg. Absolutely gorgeous this time right of year. Right there near the river. Just so... gorgeous. Just gorgeous at the start. No May flies out right now. It's the time to go to Marysville. Not a single one. Also, Tim Devin says uh, you no longer need to acknowledge him, he says. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, he claimed Why did change, that, Devin? Why? that uh, if when, when, he didn't say if, he said when he wins the scorecards, we will have to acknowledge him. So, uh, okay. Okay. Uh, now, back, back to uh, the big announcement from Tony Khan last night. Um, anybody else want to give uh, their thought, their reaction uh, to the announcement? Hey. Hello. Hello. Yeah. What's uh? What do this you guys? William going? Regal. Hey, Will. Hey, I just bought Ring of Honor. I want you to run it for me as a developmental program. Yes, yeah, it's just TK. <laughs> yeah. Cool. 
Yeah, just name your price. <laughs> All right. That's what Tony Khan needs to do. That would be a smart play. Um, Lou asked, did intern Mark's internet finally quit on him? Yes, that's probably what happened. I would say they're upgrading um, Hottenstein Estates, but the, the I've heard the internet people set up saw the 56K line and just shot themselves. So um, the, the, there is no... Totally wouldn't laugh, they old yellowed they yellow themselves. <laughs> oh, jeez. Let me get my pants on. Um, Tim, Matt, uh, your guys' thoughts on, on the uh, the acquisition? Tim, Tim, on? Timmy's eating wingies. So he is eating wingies, Matt. You want to let him get yeah, out? Sure, it's and while Tim cleanses his palate. I, I just have one more. Okay, uh, <laughs> I can kill some time here. Um, so, so I think it was a very smart move in terms of if, if they're using it as developmental. Um, you know, it, I think that it has a strong enough brand that the investment makes sense totally, uh, and they can use it probably like NXT used to be before it became 2.0 and unwatchable. So they can take the up and coming indie talent that they don't have room for right away on AEW and turn Ring of Honor back into that promotion that a lot of people related it to. Can, can this just be the end of AEW dark, dark elevation, dark, dark elevation and just <laughs> make Ring yeah. of Honor the... No. <laughs> No, because like those those shows, I guess supplement their um, the wins and loss record. So like, yeah, those, sh those shows aren't going away. No, I understand that, but but you know, it's the equivalent of Major League Baseball. We're going to take all thirty two teams to the playoffs this year. We're going to play seven inning games. Uh, <laughs> one pitches <laughs> ball strike. You know, that's it. You know, we're going to ghost runners on everybody. third to start every seventh <laughs> inning. <minute. laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Um. Yeah, so while well, Tim's cleaning his teeth, um, it's a, it's a, it, look, it's a smart. You got to get the chicken out of there. That's how cavities happen, Jim. Oh, absolutely. You got to get you got to clean out that meat tooth. Absolutely. Look, that, man, um, I haven't been on camera and done a podcast in like three months. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> what? It's why? Very weird. Why does Devin have such an attitude? Devin, today? calm Jeez. down, man. What is? Chill, my guy. <laughs> First, you're not. He's, you know what? He's not wrong though. Has Tim? I mean, Devin's I know, the not last, speaking lies. But the last scorecard we did, I stomped you. One that, that was Royal go, Rumble, right? Because we go don't back to Royal Rumble. I'll pull up the results. And I'll share scorecard. With Jimmy, he said you didn't win. Good. Not Royal Rumble. I don't care. Look, I don't Devin's care not the Devin's, brightest crayon in the drawer. I don't care if I win. But he's not wrong here. That's all, that's all you do. <laughs> I mean, it's. it's it's that's how it goes. Um, I think it's a smart move. A from from a standpoint of the, the video library, because now you have it. Um, and it and it's a it's a lot of members on your roster that you now have old archive footage for. <laughs> because if there's one thing we've talked about over the years with AEW is like the reason they rush everything and they do everything at a million miles an hour is because they 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 have no back history. Now they have some back history for a lot of the people on their roster. Um, secondly, yes, like Mike said, they now own their first show, All In. But also, the, the thing that, that they can do now with, with guys like Zane and Owens and AJ Styles re-signing with WWE, like, WWE can't get that footage if they ever want to do, like, a career retrospective on those guys that that's a big part of those guys history that now WWE doesn't have rights to um or has to pay for or has to pay for so that's it's smart business by Tony Khan but let me actually Tim before I ask my question well your your reaction to the announcement I love it I love it. It means that old, a lot of Ring of Honor stuff that I care about that I missed is going to come back in some way, shape, or form. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It also means we're finally going to get some fun finality to this Briscoe's FTR thing. Um, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I'm crying because these wings are so fucking hot. Oh my god, like, Briscoe's like, FTR you're though. I get about it. The, the Ring of Honor. Oh. And but yeah, I'm I'm excited. Um, I, I I'm looking on the um. 
we all saw the Tony Khan press release, but um, Ring of Honor put out a press release today about it. As as I've I've still got water coming out. Don't of my touch eyes. your eyes. I'm no more, using the back of my hand in napkins, but um, Jeff Coff, Joe Coff, uh, former ROH COO, uh, said, quote, Ring of Honor has produced some of the best professional wrestlers over the past 20 years, but more importantly, it created a family. I'll be forever grateful to everyone in the ROH family who has worked tirelessly for the past two decades to take ROH to levels previously unimagined. Tony has the utmost appreciation and respect for Ring of Honor, and I'm truly excited to see how he continues the legacy. Um, the coughs did nothing but put them on regular television that nobody watched. They weren't wrestling people. They're TV people looking for content. Mm -hmm. Tony Khan is a wrestling historian. He loves this shit. He eats it up. And you could tell Tony Khan was really emotional when he announced the acquisition of Ring of Honor at first. Is that Either the emotional that, or is that the cocaine? Look, man, or, uppers and or, downers. Oh. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> um, I'm very excited to see what happens with Ring of Honor. Um, I also, much like um, much like Big Mac over here, he uh, have ideas on what's going to happen. But um, like Ryan... Uh, TK be, ma be making phone calls out to certain people, but I think there's one phone call that's coming in. Um, hold on, my ring right. Hello, hey, it's Mandy Leon. Hey, Cody, how's it going? <laughs> oh, my bad, wrong number. <laughs> hey, Co um, you want to run Ring of Honor now? Oh. I'm still not paying you more, <laughs> and the old offer is not on the table anymore either. The old codester, huh? I mean, like, Cody goes away. Now there's another promotion that he can run on his own. And Tony's not got anything bad to say about Cody. Why not let Cody take his try? Like, because obviously Cody's like, it's rumored and innuendoed that Cody is going to WWE. But nothing's final till it's final. Correct. He could easily do Ring of Honor. Oh, yeah, the Seven Star General is definitely taking over ROH bioluminescent brand. I did. Uh, I did. So are. I did see um, <laughs> today that the that the contracts talks between Cody and WWE have, quote, stalled. Oh, would you look at this? Oh, yeah, wow. Could that, that be smoke screen uh, coming out you of. You mean Denver? smoke and mirrors? So, oh. Oh, oh, I see what you did there. I see what you did. By the way, Ryan, I, I pulled Fuck. that. Uh, I pulled that picture. That's a pretty solid uh, bobblehead there. That's a solid little bobblehead. It doesn't look why anything does, like Kevin Nash at all. Why does, Scott, no. why does Scott Hall look like he should be playing second base for the Arfills? <laughs> Scott Hall looks like Tony Danza. <laughs> and Kevin Tony Nash. Tony Danza and Doogie Howser. Um, that I actually, is, I'd like to see what their shirts say because it is actually not NWO. I thought they were NWO, but. It's Redding Phils. It's RDG. RDG? Yep. yep. Oh, for Redding? Okay. Okay. It's still a pretty cool Funko or uh, yeah, a probably, right. couldn't, probably couldn't put now. the NWO shirt on there. Probably. I was gonna say you don't, you don't have to pay uh, royalties to Vincent yeah, Kennedy. Man, if the so. Phil, if they sell that shirt, they better have a fat man size. Oh, right. right. I'm gonna buy one. Solid. Yeah, let's uh, let's let's look at going to that. Uh, that should be fun. <sighs> I like baseball. Um, games. I like baseball games. I'm assuming I they'll have a, a, game. You're gonna, up pay, a ring you're gonna pay like eight dollars for. A ticket, then you're gonna pay like sixty three dollars in beer that you're gonna drink there. Uh yeah, I mean beer would be. We expensive. did the Bret Hart meet and greet, right? Yeah, we did. Bret I'm Hart. saying it's gonna be like eight dollars for a ticket in the bleachers. It's oh, like yeah, an extra ten bucks to meet Bret Hart, and not have to wait in the line. Wasn't well, bad. Yeah. Brett confused because they don't really have baseball in Canada. Brett confused because Goldberg Brett. kicked his face off. Still Brett just confused because Brett of confused the multiple it's... strokes. <laughs> He's I just remember, to out why it was like yesterday I was on the set of Lonesome Gov. Oh, God. <laughs> so it's a shame. I, I, I got my picture taken with him, and I went like this, because I thought his fist, he was like making a fist for a picture, but like that's just the way his hand is anymore, because oh, he can't grip God. things because of the stroke. So I was like, oh, all right, buddy. And I went like this, and it was just his stroke hand. And uh, I don't know. I felt bad for the picture. Did so you see the Calgary Hitman jerseys? They look sick. Dude, I saw those... 
I wish I had hundred and I wish I had fifty dollars Canadian. There it is. There's the hand I was talking about. I'll be darned. (laughs) Stroke hand. Stroke hand. Stroke hand. (laughs) They have the shirts, but they only go up to three X because apparently there's no fat people in Canada. Hey, what you talking about? Fat in Canada's 3X. They created maple syrup and fat in Canada's 3X. Buddy, they use the metric system, okay? I mean, 3X is probably like... Canada is like 5.5X to America. I was going to say, there's got to be a conversion rate here somewhere. (laughs) Um, Tim, you keep it up, though. You're going to be a a 3 very soon. You're going to be losing many many stone or whatever they measure things up in Canada. (laughs) (laughs) Moose. They measure things in (laughs) moose. Moose. You, well, me, ah, he's about a, moose. He's about a fourth moose. <laughs> let me ask this question. <laughs> what? Lebat. <Piece of Molson. laughs> <laughs> 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 yeah, I love Lebat. <laughs> um, <laughs> let me ask this question though. Like, no. What? You fucking ask it, Jim. <laughs> I'm trying. Oh, God. God's sake. Are you recording this? Because I don't consent years. to being on camera. <laughs> I think this. Even is without this a mark, I hate this show. No, this is the actual- he didn't tell me we were recording. This Not isn't once. the buy-in. This isn't the little box at the top left corner of your screen should tell you that it's recording. No, um, the top right like corner. Mark has something to say about that. Chris Bowflex. <laughs> I heard that the devil loves Chris Bowflex. By the way. Oh, God. oh damn it! Yes. Great. 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 Oh. <laughs> Perfect normal human being. Um, Perfect use of the soundboard. I love it. I'm good at this. So the only shirt um, I can see on the Reading Philly shop is the Reading Hot Dogs jersey. That sounds yeah, awesome. Although I hear that they're uh, yeah, it's I not great. Let him use it for his roller. I already, I already have a favorite minor league baseball team. I can't, I can't root for anyone else. Um, because I am very much a Rocket City Trash Pandas fan. Yes. But, like, Tim, don't act like you actually retain loyalty with your sports fandom. But that's a different conversation. Um, I pick who I want. I don't or have this. Day. I don't have. I don't have this blind loyalty to teams that do nothing for me. Are you a fan of the Akron Rubber Ducks? <laughs> I would love to be a fan of the Akron rubber. Oh, look they don't win enough ducks. for him. <laughs> That's a beautiful logo. That's great. That's um, great. what? What? Yeah. How's right. be? How's it feel being miserable as a sports fan? Just tell I, me al- always am. It's a, it's cool. an it's an eternal struggle. But the the as summer long of, as you need a reason to keep drinking. Go ahead. The summer of 2018 was fantastic. I enjoyed both parades I went to because they were even sweeter from the the weight. Made it cool. that much more worth it, but. Jim, ask the fucking question. I'm trying. <laughs> what does the purchase Are you serious? <laughs> That's five. Are you serious? What does the so purchase they don't of have, They don't that? have the, the NWO shirts, but they have the Redding Luchador masks, which are uh, which are actually pretty are cool. Serious? And they went by the Redding Luchadors for one game last year. Six. But it is a... Uh, let's see if I can pull this up here. It's a baseball. What about the Fayetteville Woodpeckers? With a Luchador. The Fayetteville Woodpeckers. I like that. That's a cool shirt. Cool. cool shirt. Uh, they also have it on black. I'm sorry, Big Joe. I haven't. I haven't done this podcast thing in a while. You had a question. What's the question? <laughs> I think I did. <laughs> I'm trying to bring this what? back. What does the per like? What is the purchase of Ring of Honor? Shane McMahon. There he is. <laughs> I'm on me. Best in the you asked world. For this. I'm gonna sit back and enjoy my drink, my hard orange soda. My God! It looks like a the Luchadors. The Redding. It is the Luchadors. After an any... intermission, I will get the hat of the minor league team I repped from day one. Devin's a Harrisburg Senators guy. Oh, fucking course you are, Devin. For God's <laughs> sake! <laughs> I don't know I this like one. Island. <laughs> I like single A baseball. Aren't they single A? No, they're double. double. Oh, they are. Same as the fighting fills. Oh, that's great. (laughs) I forgot they weren't the Redding Phillies anymore. They were the fighting fills. Shane McMahon! 
Did you hear Tony Khan say that Shane's not here? Oh God! When, yeah, when he per- when he announced the purchase, like it's that Shane's not longer. here. It's not Shane. Shane's not, not here. Shane. Not Shane. Um, which was that, Mike? It is the alternate logo for the Western Michigan Whitecaps. It's called the Beer City Bung Hammers. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my! Um, bung hammers. That's what I like to refer to myself sometimes Sonny. when I'm. I didn't Sonny. know Sonny owned stock in the bung hammers. Oh. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. That's Devin, it. That's why the actual. why the hostility, man? What is he Jeez. saying? Jesus, he's upset. Damn it. He's Gosh. upset. What did he say? Let me see it. Hey, on the stream. It's place. fucking vulgar for God's sake. Let me sake. see it. I want to see it. We All got right. little eyes, Devin. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Big Jim, you were gonna ask us about shamrock shakes. Is that right? Oh what, my what, god! What don't you like about City Island, Matt? You take it. I back. wasn't you the one that made the joke about the you island. Gotta cross the bridge to get there. <laughs> oh, I'm also I buying a one that mocks me. Honest to God, God's like, I don't like this town. Bam, flood. Devin that wants was to go New swimming. Orleans, and then they won a Super Bowl. <laughs> oh, maybe this is the Reading Phillies time. They don't, have, senators. they don't play Super Bowls there. <laughs> What's that one, Mike? The Sugarland Space Cowboys. Oh, that one's dumb. Um, they should have stayed the Skeeters. I like the Skeeters. <laughs> oh, Bring skeet, back skeet, the Skeeters. Skeet, skeet, skeet. Skeet, skeet. Dude, Roger Clemens like played for them for a game. Yeah, so did his son, who was probably coked out of his mind. Jorge Clemens. Um, Since John Moxley Consuela. is not row. Big Jim, do you want some wingies? <laughs> I, don't uh, have I would love to wait them. Right now. I ate them all. My lips what? hurt. That's Can you go ahead? <laughs> There's a wait on the question. Can you no. take some control of this show? I no, can I only can't. do so much as the producer. I can't. I, I, if, if this was a program, I'd call clock. Um, what is We're the purpose of the clock here? Oh, for Jesus Christ! What does the purpose Je- of Ring of Honor mean? Like if this, like because there's, I mean, besides, like. It was billed as an announcement that'll change wrestling. Does this yeah. announcement change wrestling? Yeah. yeah. How? It changes it because it allows Tony Khan to now have the ability to do video packages of all of his stars, their career retrospects. It gives them things to build on. You can now go back and watch Brian Danielson versus Christopher Daniels from the first show compared to their match last night. I think it also gives the ability now to have guys get work on a more serious level if you use them as a developmental brand. Rather than having Layla Hirsch randomly wrestle some scrub on AEW Dark Elevation uh, Rampage Edition, um, you know, you can put her on a, on a ROH show for a weekend set where they're in Pennsylvania one night and New York the next night against decent talent not saying it's got to be you know your your upper echelon from the AEW roster but there are probably serviceable women's wrestlers out there you know hey uh shout out to intern mark she she can probably wrestle the sea stars uh are you serious uh, uh, exactly i am serious mark thanks um i think that i it's just it's the build and being able to use ring of honor to almost like test run people that they want to sign will allow them to not oversaturate their main roster to a point where now we're talking about Brian Cage hasn't been seen on a show in like nine months. Who? Exactly. (laughs) But when the seven star general Brian Cage and a couple other rage in the cage show up at rage uh, in the page in the cage. Yeah, super card of honor after the after Jonathan Gresham retains the the world title, um, and basically tries to take over Ring of Honor with the you know Invasion 2.0 angle. Um, I, I think that it will help people get back into Ring of Honor. I just hope that this doesn't turn into like, and I'm I don't, I don't know where you guys stand on this, but we don't really talk about this company a lot on uh, Take Three because of the way it closed, and that's Chikara. Um, I used to be a big fan of them, and then, you know, the whole shutdown angle. We can talk like, Chikara as much as you want, Big Mike. Well, I, well I just, it's not it's, WWE, it's, so it's not pushing here. You, you, right, you get, I just, you well, get two minutes. Right timer for about two minutes and 15 seconds. <laughs> and big Jim has given me controls of this year's StreamYard. I can just send him away. 
I mean, I'm just saying, I, I, a dangerous I'm thing. Realm. You could just mute me how and many, then talk about whatever you wanted. <laughs> I just don't know how many people feel any type of way towards the way it officially closed its doors. So I don't want to speak out for anyone. I don't else. even know if Chikara ever officially closed its doors. That's the thing. I don't necessarily know that it did either, but I know that basically everyone just quit because of what happened. So again, I don't want to say. I mean, let's just when they, let's just say what happened. Like, Mike got me too, and it stopped running. Factual. Well, I just not just Mike either. There was there was a couple. Yeah, a lot of so, like high profile people were like included oh. in that, and like it's I'm not going to bring them up because I know a couple of them, and it's um it's tough. But either way, like I, what I'm really I don't, fr- I, I'm really good friends with someone who posted about someone. Okay. And we can talk about that off air. That's fine. I'd but I'm to, just saying, um, the, the Chikara situation, shit. when they That's shut a, down a Patreon the, the right storyline, and then they were like, hey, we're coming back, and it's going to be the same, and then it was completely different. Like, I just hope that's not, like, like obviously there's going to be a changeover, because obviously I don't think Delirious is going to book Ring of Honor. I think Tony's going to have somebody else take it over, whether it's Cody, whether it's William Regal, whether whoever, whomever it is. Uh, that's, it could be Christopher Daniels. Right, because that's, could, that's absolutely. Absolutely. that was absolutely. kind of the second part of like this topic. This question is like, what what do you guys think will be the direction of Ring of Honor? If, what do you guys if, want the direction of Ring of Honor to be? If it's not Cody taking it over, I'm perfectly fine with Christopher Daniels being the guy because I actually think Christopher Daniels has one of the better minds in all of professional wrestling. I love you, Jesus. Um, <laughs> Jason, Ring of Honor and, I, I, hey, Ring of Honor and Chikara is where all your favorite wrestlers came from. J- Jason says, when we talk about WWE, I've got no idea what Ring of Honor is or Chiquita Wrestling. I would love for the first the banana back, wrestling. I would love randomly, and this this is just my own personal like, oh, I'd love for this to happen. I would love for Claudio and Chris Hero to show up at the Kings of Wrestling again and just let them be what they were before both of them got signed and just kick people in the head and hit roaring elbows. Does Hero even Hero. wrestle anymore? He doesn't, but I don't. I, you may be able to get him back if you compare him with with, with Claudio. You know those yeah, guys I were say, I, I super think, tight. I mean, he and was in the GCW Hall of Fame, so he's he's adjacent. I just didn't think he was going anymore. And I mean, Tony Khan. I mean, it's not like he doesn't have some some dollars that can coerce people. Well, while while I think Ring of Honor is going to be the NXT for AEW, I think Tony also may let it have its own legs and do its own thing. I mean, you've already seen announced Alex Zane versus Swerve at, at Supercard. You have Bandito versus Jonathan Gresham. Um, I think the, the Briscoes have an open challenge for the tag titles. Color me surprised if it's not FTR. It's going to be. I say it should be FTR. So it's like me and Joe have been talking. Obviously, we we we, we don't know if we met. the Dallas the game getting postponed because Rob Manfred's a douche nozzle. Fucker. Ring of Honor is Friday night. There's a real talk that me and Joe may go to Supercard of Honor Friday night in Dallas. Do it. You um, will not regret it. it. Do no, it. I know we're not going to regret it. That's just my wife and my mom are coming with us. It's a, so I don't know, necessarily know what we technically have planned. So I'm trying to figure that stuff out with I them. I think the plan is they just chill in the hotel room. No, the plan is right, they you drop go me watch off with Joe to the show and then they Spa go night, whatever, they whatever you know. Give them the credit card. Say have a good night. Yeah, no, it's probably what's going to happen. I'm, not, I'm, I'm just saying. I'm. And then you guys wondering. catch the Uber. No, my wife would come pick us up. It's a, it's an oh. hour. It, she's a sweet show lady. By, she is. She's absolutely the best. She she's come the, on she's here a, with you guys. She's an angel. So. Yeah, no, I think uh, I think I'm I think we're going to end up going, but I definitely think that it ends with the Briscoes opening challenge having to be FTR. If not, if it's like the Kings of Wrestling, if it's Claudio and Hero, and like FTR comes out after, like I'm okay with that as well. Yeah. I think Ring of Honor is going to have its own legs to stand on with somebody from AEW being like an executive. Like Chris Hero is going to run his ideas through TK. TK might say, "Hey, here's Brian Cage, here's Absolute Ricky Starks." <coughs> Here's some guys that we're not using right now. Get them solid in ring time. Put them in storyline so that when they're done, I can use them because they still have credibility and they've been they've been working and it's not sitting around with a thumb up their butt. I, now, uh, ring of Honor, I'm assuming has lost 
their station, though, and they will no longer be airing on Sinclair. Even yeah, in, like, those details haven't come out yet, but I would imagine. I and mean, that's fine. Because I think what TK, TK could always buy buy into. Uh, I mean, he's in the. He's there, I mean, like, are, are they? Would they bring it back to a weekly show? If we're talking NXT, NXT runs a weekly and does pay per views quarterly. Will they follow that format? I don't think so. I mean, they. I they, think you they, can do they, stuff they online. Back weekly. If you're gonna do, if like you do anything weekly, weekly, and I I don't necessarily think that they will, or and you know all of those sort of details and including TV and all of that is are yet to yet to come could out. They go NXT, could they go NXT 1.0 and film three weeks of content leading up to the double shot in insert random cities here? What's well, so like, is, is, is is I I mean I'm just it's it's an option and I think that's an option that could work yeah. especially if you're working through a changeover um but, and so here's the thing the time, you know? i hate to i hate to give credit work to to this person but like devin made the point that like this changes the landscape of wrestling because of the video library tony khan right now aside from the wwe has the biggest source material of wrestling that's not WWE. And like Impact, you can say, but Impact was like a couple of days, like it was literally like a couple of months before yeah. WWE. And honestly, the hot parts of Impact are, are just as small as the hot parts of Ring of Honor. And the, there's the only company that may have a deeper library is New Japan. But I'm talking about US. Okay. That's what I'm saying. So I even then, that. even then, Tony Khan, there's all these talks about streaming service with, with HBO Max. What if there's the AEW network on yep. HBO Max? Well, that's and, that. and, and you start putting these ROH old RO, old ROH shows and you put the ROH specials on there. And now Tony Khan, whether he wants to wants to or not. He can do with AEW what we've wanted Vince to do with WWE for the longest time. Actually run two separate brands at the same time. He has AEW, AEW. He has ROH, BROH. And guess what? They can do head-to-head -head feuds with interpromotional stuff as opposed to what WWE does, which is Raw and SmackDown, and it's the same dudes over and over again to where we have to feign interest every November for Red versus Blue and Brand Supremacy, except we do the draft three weeks before we do that. Like... It, oh. WWE, like... We're not even pretending gonna, anymore, yeah. Tim. No. The last time I gave a shit is when NXT because that felt like that other like you were saying when NXT showed up in November. And even then, when NXT showed up, the more and more I'm hearing all these other stories about how the NXT thing actually came about, the only reason NXT got used was because that Halloween was the holdup in Saudi Arabia. Yes, and, and they, they had, had to, to run that show. last minute send Adam Cole and a bunch of NXT dudes to SmackDown so that Adam Cole could burn the house down with Brian Danielson for no reason, with no build. And yep. then, like, they got so hot, it's like, well, we got to make this an angle. And then NXT ends up winning the thing. They end up winning on points. Right, yeah. And it does noth nothing. It's and then they fine. fell off the face of the earth. It's fine. I also, I also do think the the pandemic had a hand in in the the uh, the untimely <laughs> death of NXT one point two point or I don't 1. think so. I think that it might not be the exact same because I'm not I saying it was the only reason. I think the big reason was Nick Khan. Yeah, because but, NXT at there there was at some point because you got to remember NXT 2.0 isn't that far away from what NXT was at the very beginning. 
Oh, absolutely. And then at some point, NXT turned into Triple H's ROH. Yeah, but and I, I made I, it a super card. I I do <laughs> think though. <laughs> I do, I do think though that like the pandemic opened the door for changes to be made. Now, do those changes happen eventually? Maybe, probably. Do they happen exactly when they happen? I I don't know. I I think it I think it opened the door for things to change because all of a sudden, I'm not. I mean, especially if you l- listen to to Vince McMahon on on Pat McAfee today. But like that company doesn't need reasons to let people go. Like they'll find reasons if they want to let people go. It's business. But I, I, I think the pandemic did make changes happen that weren't going to happen at least in the 2020 to 2020 one and a half time frame. So, um, but for Ring of Honor, like you know, I, 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 I think. I think the your idea, Tim, or, or your your thought there with running kind of two separate companies and, and kind of intermixing when you can. Um, I mean, I think they'll do that, but I I, I think using it like as as kind of a de- developmental brand, I think is probably the smartest thing for them for them to do with it because you already have you already have so much with it with AEW with. Uh, Dynamite and Rampage and Dark and and all the Dark shows and and all of that. Um, so, so I don't I don't know that spending time mixing between the two um, and taking away from talent that already doesn't get used on TV. Um, there are is, there are three names that I would or two names that I would say from the AEW roster right now that I would let work that first Ring of Honor show. FTR versus the Briscoes and Jay Lethal. Yeah, I would say Brian Danielson. Dan, yeah, I think uh, I, honestly, too. if you put Brian and Punk on that show, even if they just make appearances, give me all of the old school ROH feels. But Are you yeah, talking I, about Supercard? But, yes. Yeah, I think I think Supercard, like Supercard, is you know that's going to be your first you know big event under this kind of new venture. So, getting as many eyes on it as possible is. Very important. I think. I think Claudio is a great choice to show up there. Claudio is a great. A, oh yeah. But I think you have. I think you have Punk appear too. Whether it's, I don't know if it's wrestle, but even have him on commentary. I don't know. You know, guest commentator, something. Yes, have, have you him, know, have him come commentate the main event between Bandito and Jonathan yeah, Gresham and right, tease and announce him it ahead fighting of for the Ring of Honor World Title. And make sure, make sure you announce it ahead of time. Him right, versus Jonathan Punk Gresham for like a. a, a, a Small like ROH title feud, like okay. So um, but Ryan, where's this being held at? Supercard, Texas, somewhere in Texas. The hey, venue uh, is the Texas, last. <laughs> the last Texas, last, but Ryan, last, Ryan last little whorehouse. <laughs> and Matt, um, <laughs> what, what do you where, where would you guys like to see this go? Like, what, like, what, 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 what's your hope for Ring of Honor? under the ownership of Tony Khan. Personally, my hope is it, nothing really changes with what Ring of Honor was, and it's it's run like its own brand. Um, If they want to use it as a bit of developmental, that's fine. I would still... Uh, I, I still think William Regal would be the right choice to run that. Yeah, yeah I, I think that's probably the safest move. I will say if they go to HBO Max, then they have found the one streaming service slash app that is less user-friendly than Peacock in, in that regard. So uh, kudos to them. But uh, I, I think having it be its own entity, even with like a hint of developmental, is probably their best bet in terms of for the brand itself and for best value of their investment. Uh, we'll close here with Devin's question, unless uh, any of you guys have any other anything else to add. Uh, do you guys think they will get new belts? I hope not. No, no, I don't. I don't see why not. Now, I would Bandito rather has the, the, the Bandito would has the main school, like the main though. title, and Gresham has the pure title, right? Mm-hmm. No, Gresham has the old Ring of the Honor original, the first sorry. gen mm-hmm. world title. I would rather them use that title again. I would like to see them use that. And I feel like Tony Khan, being who Tony Khan is, might want them to use that. 
mm-hmm. over the, the newer. Um, the only the only title that I would want them to change would be that TV title that Rex Titus has. It just is kind of. Bleak. Oh yeah, I don't. I'm not a fan of the TV title, but yeah, I don't. I don't think they. Um, I don't think they need to get new titles. I mean, here's um, the deal. Tony Khan just but last week was talking about trios wrestling again. Um, there's your trios championship. Ring of Honor already has the the. I mean, just six man. It's such a great acquisition for for TK. It really is. It is it's smart, and it keeps it keeps the brand alive. Uh, all right, let's. No, real quick, one more one more thing before we move on. I'm so sorry, Jim. What what is what is stopping now AEW um, from like their own streaming service? Is it just not financially feasible? Um, like, why would they have to tie themselves? I mean, the to... guy's worth like a trillion dollars. I don't know if anything is not yeah. financially reasonable. Like, why tie yourself to HBO Max and give and give HBO a part of that pie? I, here's another question: Did Honor Club? Come with the purchase. That's that's a great I mean, point. It's too. At all assets, so why would? So it? if that's the case, then they bought Honor Club, and they already have an online streaming service, and they just rebrand it as AEW. Wasn't it a big pain in the dick, though? I mean, like, well, I mean, it's I mean, you no worse. It, it, it was made you by Sinclair, who didn't give a it. shit about wrestling. You could pay somebody to a, go in there and fix it. How much of a shit about wrestling is HBO Max going to give? They don't really give a shit about the programming they have on there. <laughs> That's a good point. Um, no, I'm, I'm not saying HBO I mean, Max is the right choice. Angels. Like AEW, AEW as a as a company, not not. I mean, the Cotton family has infinite amount of of money, but I, like I believe AEW is still in the red as a company, right? Or are they are they profitable now? It's hard to say. Even if they're profitable, that's doing something like starting your own streaming subscription service is going to set them back. Right. Again. Right. So well, I, I just you would you need have... to hope that people are going to exclusively buy yours. If it's with HBO Max, which a lot of people might already have, you have a better chance of getting eyes on the product than hoping that your strong AEW fans are going to shell out another 10, 15, whatever it may and be they a will. month. Let's be honest, they will. If you but if you Not have all the, of them. If you have the base already for a streaming service with Honor Club and you can pay a small fee to fix it and do it the proper way, I it's agree. not that big of a already because you already put the financial burden of buying the company. You already have the shell. Paying someone pennies on the dollars to go in there and fix it is different than having to build one from scratch. Sure. There. 